He has emerged as the top commander in the Navy and a member of our Joint Chiefs of Staff from a terrific, varied career. It's really a great treat for us to have you here, sir, and it's my great privilege and honor to introduce Admiral Rohad. Well, thank you, Mr. Secretary. It's uh, great to be back in San Francisco, uh, a city whose history is interwoven uh, with the history of the United States Navy. Uh, and it's also good to be here at the Marines Memorial Club. Ellen and I have the opportunity to visit many places and to stay at many places. Uh, but Mike, I have to tell you that we never feel as warmly welcomed anywhere as we do when we return here. And, and I applaud you for everything that you've done. So thank you. And I highlight the opening of the Arctic. Uh, when that ocean opens to commerce in about 25 years, that will be the first opening of an ocean since the end of the last ice age. This is a big deal. And I believe it warrants our attention. When one considers that over two-thirds of the top 50 international ports by tonnage are located in East Asia, the only region where nations with unresolved territorial disputes are building world-class navy, there should be little surprise that our attention is drawn to the crucial sea lanes there, and certainly to China. Uh, I think the future of fast attack submarines are pretty uh, significant and, and actually uh, if I had more submarines, I'd be a very happy person because the, the, the a submarine is the best sea control weapon that we have uh, because of where it can go and no one knows where it is. If there are any chess players in the room, I often call the submarine the invisible queen of a chess game. Nobody knows where it is you can use it any time, and it does many things. It truly is the stealth platform in the United States military. Uh, and to be able to use that for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance uh, gives uh, a commander some extraordinary capability. And even though some may say submarines are a relic of the Cold War, uh, if you look at submarine production in the world today, it's not going down, it's going up. And it's not just China or Russia, uh, but some of the submarines that are being built by uh, uh, companies in Europe are really pretty extraordinary. They're small, but they're very quiet, very effective. And so submarine production is, is on, its, uh, on the increase. And the best uh, anti-submarine weapon is another submarine. And the best submarine in the world today is the Virginia class that we are going to start building at two a year this year. Ladies and gentlemen, I would really would like to thank First Secretary Schultz for sponsoring this lecture and for Admiral Gary Ruffhead, the Chief of Naval Operations, for coming to speak with to us tonight. It's even been terrific. We thank you so much, sir. And uh, all of you, please help me thank Admiral Ruffhead. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.